Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Have you ever wondered why some people pay more in taxes than others? Why does someone making $500,000 a year pay a higher percentage of their income than someone making $50,000? The answer lies in the progressive tax system. This system is designed to tax individuals based on their ability to pay, meaning that those with higher incomes contribute a larger portion of their earnings in taxes. In this video, we're going to explore how the progressive tax system works, why it's used, and the key arguments for and against it. Section 1. What is a progressive tax system? A progressive tax system is one in which the tax rate increases as the taxpayer's income increases. In other words, the more money you make, the higher percentage of your income you'll pay in taxes. The idea behind this system is to ensure that those who can afford to contribute more to public services, like education, healthcare, and infrastructure, do so. Section 2. How it works. In a progressive tax system, two key concepts are, number 1. Tax brackets, these are defined ranges of income taxed at different rates. As an individual's income increases, they move into higher tax brackets, but only the income within each bracket is taxed at the corresponding rate. This ensures that lower portions of income are taxed at lower rates, while higher portions are taxed at progressively higher rates. Number 2. Marginal tax rate. This is the tax rate applied to the last dollar earned in a given tax bracket. It only affects income within that specific bracket, meaning the higher marginal rate applies solely to the additional income that falls into the higher bracket, not to the taxpayer's entire income. Let's go through the detailed calculation for the given example with three tax brackets for someone earning $60,000. Step 1. Understanding the tax brackets. Here are the hypothetical tax brackets. First $20,000 is taxed at 10%. Next $20,000, from $20,001 to $40,000, is taxed at 20%. Final $20,000, from $40,001 to $60,000, is taxed at 30%. As you can see, your marginal tax rate, the rate applied to the last dollar you earn, is 30%. However, it's important to remember that not all of your income is taxed at this rate. Only the portion of your income that falls within the highest tax bracket is subject to the 30% rate, while lower portions are taxed at the rates corresponding to their respective brackets. Step 2. Breaking down the taxable income. First $20,000 at 10%, 20,000 times 10% equals 2,000. Next $20,000, from $20,001 to $40,000, at 20%, 20,000 times 20% equals 4,000. Final $20,000, from $40,001 to $60,000, at 30%, 20,000 times 30% equals 6,000. Step 3, Total Taxes Paid. Now, we sum the taxes paid from each bracket, total taxes paid, 2,000 plus 4,000 plus 6,000 is equal to 12,000. Step 4, Calculating the Effective Tax Rate. By definition, the effective tax rate is the total tax paid as a percentage of your total income. In this case, with a total income of $60,000 and total taxes paid of $12,000, the effective tax rate is calculated as So, while your marginal tax rate is 30%, your effective tax rate is only 20% because not all of your income is taxed at the highest rate. Section 3. Why do governments use progressive taxes? Governments adopt progressive tax systems for several key reasons. Number 1. Fairness and equity. Progressive taxation ensures that individuals contribute according to their ability to pay. Higher income earners pay a larger percentage of their income, which aligns with the principle that those with more resources should contribute more to public services, promoting a sense of fairness across society. Number 2. Income redistribution. By taxing higher earners at greater rates, progressive taxes allow governments to redistribute income. The revenue generated is used to fund social programs such as education, healthcare, and welfare, which provide support to lower-income individuals, helping to reduce income inequality and provide essential services. Number 3. Revenue Generation Progressive taxes are an effective way for governments to generate revenue, especially from wealthier individuals and corporations. This revenue is essential for funding infrastructure, defense, and public services without overburdening lower-income earners, who have less capacity to contribute. Number 4. Economic Stability By adjusting tax rates based on income levels, progressive taxes help maintain economic stability. Lower-income individuals, who spend a larger portion of their income on necessities, are not excessively taxed, ensuring steady consumer demand. In times of economic crisis or high debt, 
progressive taxes allow governments to raise revenue without severely affecting the purchasing power of lower income groups. Section 4, Criticisms. While the progressive tax system has clear benefits, it also comes with several criticisms. Number 1. Disincentive to work and invest. Critics argue that higher tax rates on upper-income earners may reduce the incentive for individuals to work harder, invest, or start businesses. If a significant portion of income is taxed, it may discourage entrepreneurship and economic productivity, potentially slowing down overall economic growth. Number 2. Tax evasion and avoidance. Progressive tax systems can lead to increased efforts to avoid or evade taxes, especially among the wealthy, who have access to sophisticated tax planning tools. This could reduce the intended revenue from high-income groups and undermine the effectiveness of the tax system. Number 3. Complexity and administrative costs. Progressive tax systems tend to be more complex, with multiple tax brackets and deductions. This complexity can increase administrative costs for governments and compliance costs for taxpayers, particularly for those with more income sources or complicated financial situations. Section 5, Examples of Progressive Tax Systems Around the World Many countries around the world use progressive tax systems, but the specific rates and brackets vary widely. Here are a few examples. United States, the U.S. has a progressive tax system with rates from 10% to 37%. In 2023, the 10% rate applies to incomes up to $11,000, while the top 37% rate applies to incomes over $578,125 for single filers. United Kingdom, the U.K.'s income tax system starts at 20% for incomes between £12,571 and £50,270, around US dollars to US dollars with a top rate of 45% for incomes above £125,141, around US dollars Income below £12,570 is not taxed. France, France also operates a progressive income tax system with rates that vary according to income. As of 2023, the rates range from 11% for incomes starting at €10,778, around US dollars to 45% for incomes above €168,994, around US dollars Section 6. Conclusion to sum up, a progressive tax system is designed to tax individuals based on their ability to pay, with higher income earners contributing a larger percentage of their earnings to support public services. While progressive taxes help reduce inequality and generate revenue for the government, they can also create challenges, such as potential disincentives for investment or opportunities for tax avoidance. Alright, that's all for today's topic. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more insights into economics and accounting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.